So Medic on Mayface have just released the official photos of their version of The Amazing Spider-Man to complete the No Way Home trio, albeit it is titled The Amazing Spider-Man 2 once again, it is their third version in the line, fourth if you include The Amazing Spider-Man 1, and this is just due to licensing reasons they couldn't use the name No Way Home, and I'm going to be doing a preview comparison with its competitor, the Bandai Tomash Nation's SH Figure Arts. Of course this isn't a direct comparison as the SH Figure Arts was released in June 2021 free whilst the Mayface version isn't out yet it's scheduled until next year May 2025 so to keep it fair I'm going to compare photo for photo rather than the SE figure arts itself since I do have that in my collection so let's start off by placing these two together in their most neutral pose now when it comes to the build and proportions both have their own unique style the SE figure arts has a more slimmer body and kind of like a box one whereas the Mayface one has shown off the muscular tones and is a slightly bigger one in terms of proportions. One of the main parts is the crotch area as we know with SH Figure Arts, they've always implemented this style for their movements, whereas Mayfax have their own one which is a one piece. So the SE Figure Arts is a smoother transition from top to bottom, whereas Mayfax you can see more of that build. The colours is also very similar with the Mayfax one being slightly darker on the blue shadings, whereas the SE Figure Arts has more of that matte finish. The SE Figure Arts I think flows a lot better like a one piece suit with Peter Parker wearing it. Mayfax seems to have parts sticking out but this just could be due to him standing there. Of course this could look better when he's in dynamic poses and it could also mean better articulation since there's so many joints. As for the head sculpts they are both good in their own way. The SE figure sits a bit higher with the longer neck whereas the Mayfax one has more of that rounded fuller face which I do like. Both the figures are capable of those dynamic poses of course with that diving pose we see in the movie opening of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and of course those crouch poses which is one of the most important ones. And of course the standard web shooter hands are included although not shown in the photos by the SH figure arts. We also have the pointing of the fingers on both the figures to create the meme. The SH figure arts I can confirm has a total of 12 hands but no fisted hands. Whereas the Mayfax one hasn't revealed all the hands, but I'm sure there's around the same and you can see all of them in the photos, so there's enough for all those poses. And based on the photos, they do have the fisted hands available. No doubt there are webs included for both the figures, which is standard for Spider-Man. The SE figure arts has a total of five webs, two short ones, two medium and one long one. The Mayfax has the advantage of six with one extra long one. But for me it's not a deal breaker since most of the time when you're using the long one you're just probably going to have it on one side. And the main difference is the unmasked Peter Parker head sculpt is only included in the Mayfax version since the SE figure arts for licensing reasons cancelled theirs so you do need to get a third party one. And of course for Mayfax we have the mask to be held in hand which is a bonus so for a lot of people these two extra accessories may be the deciding factor. In terms of adding one to the collection, it is really personal preference. Some people just prefer the SHF line and some people just prefer the Mayfax line. For me personally, since I am an SH Figure Arts Marvel collector, I'm just going to stay with the SH Figure Arts version as it fits more in that line, especially for the No Way Home trio. But if you're someone that's waiting for the Mayfax versions of the other two Spider-Mans, I think the Mayfax version probably fits better as a display. But overall, the real main difference is really the unmasked Peter Parker head sculpt, which of course the Mayfax has the advantage. But I need to see the Mayfax one in person to fully judge on it, so I'm going to have to wait for the full comparison. So what are your final thoughts? Will you go with the Medicon Mayfax or the Bandai to My Nation's SE figure arts? You can comment down below. And while still available, you can use my affiliate link to pre-order the Mayfax version. The link is in the description box. Watch my full announcement of the Amazing Spider-Man Mayfax reveal as well as the review of the SH Figure Arts version. Thanks for watching.